now, again with the keys, um, key management is key with symmetric encryption. Um, you've got to manage it, you've got to um, have the keys, you've got to ensure that the keys uh, are correct, proper, uh, not improperly chosen. As I say, there's, there's a few that you shouldn't use. Um, you, uh, well, you, you've got situations where um, you may need to recover the keys. Uh, this may have to do with um, a situation where uh, information is encrypted. Um, recently, we've had things with uh, companies involved in cryptocurrency, for example, and, and they have uh, supposedly forgotten keys. Um, some of these stories are uh, a little bit interesting in terms of, uh, you know, did, did a key actually get lost or uh, was it uh, fraud? Um, but in, in any case, um, you know, there, there can be situations where you legitimately need to recover the keys. Um, and how do you do that? Now, uh, one of the ways, of course, is, is uh, through the management, you know, keys are issued by the company and are, in a sense, escrowed. Um, key escrow is not just a political activity. It's, you know, it's a legitimate way of recovering keys, that you have a, a central registry. That does break, to a certain extent, um, one of the principles, and that is that the key should only be shared between the two parties involved. Um, there are other key uh, escrow and, and recovery schemes, for example. Um, breaking the key into multiple parts and different, uh, either different individuals or different offices, um, hold different parts of the keys and uh, uh, therefore the, uh, the keys can be recovered only if the, the multiple parties cooperate. Um, so, you know, different, different methods of uh, key recovery. Um, there's the, the control of the keys, you know, how do you store them? Um, and uh, destroying the keys um, when uh, they expire. Um, you, you are no longer going to be using this key. This key has been used enough, um, uh, possibly even too much. Um, so, uh, you know, dealing with, with that, um, and again, uh, as we'll get into in operations, uh, you know, for all that we try and protect data and make sure that it's available, um, when it's needed, uh, when we go to try and get rid of uh, data, um, it's, it's surprisingly uh, difficult to do that, a non-trivial task. Um, distributing the keys, um, exchanging the keys between the parties uh, that are uh, involved in uh, a specific channel of communication. Um, the um, uh, oh, uh, yeah, dealing with um, session keys. Uh, again, uh, you shouldn't use a key too much. So using a key to generate other keys um, uh, may uh, be, uh, depending on the, the situation, how much it's, it's going to be used. But using that key to, to generate other keys um, so that we can use those for one session and, and then uh, discard them, um, not use them again. Um, getting uh, mm, closer, uh, definitely not um, uh, absolutely, but getting closer to the, uh, uh, the one-time pad type situation. Uh, the key generating key, of course, should be used infrequently uh, and never used to encrypt data that's going to be sent over public channels. So the, the session keys are, are only used for a short time. Um, once again, scalability. Um, when we're dealing with symmetric encryption, 
Um, well, if you're dealing with one person, you, you're not doing any communication. Uh, if you're dealing with two people, you only need one key. If you're dealing with three people, you need three keys. If you're dealing with four people, you now need six keys. If you're dealing with ten people, you know, uh, we've got 45 keys that we have to manage, uh, be able to recover, issue, distribute, all of those all of those issues with regard to those keys. And as I say, once we get up to a thousand users, and that's not a huge company, um, that's a half a million keys. So um, we need to ensure that we have all the proper um, activities, all the proper management with regard to keys, proper generation of the keys, using the entire address space, eliminating the weak keys, um, uh, properly issuing and distributing keys, uh, storing them for recovery, or um, having a system uh, that we can recover the keys if uh, need it again, depending on the situation that we're we're going to be using. Um, uh, is this for storage? Is this for ephemeral communication? Um, you know, what what type of encryption use case do we have, and and therefore what uh, types of management issues uh, do we have to have with regard to uh, those keys for that particular application um, you know like I said right at the beginning uh, you, uh, beginning of the, the seminar um, management uh, you know you can have all the tools you want if you don't manage them properly you don't have security